right as now. As many as 59,000 people's private information put at risk after a data breach at Network 180, the provider for mental health services in Kent County. It happened back on October 18th, 2023. A letter dated December 22nd went out to patients alerting them that private information like social security card numbers, medical records, and financial information could have been leaked. Today I spoke with a cybersecurity expert on why these attacks target healthcare industries and what you need to know if your information is ever compromised. A Network 180 data breach could affect up to 59,000 people. The organization says they've notified everyone affected as soon as possible. Possible information compromised includes social security numbers, financial information, and medical records. Healthcare facilities tend to have different layers of security and lots of information on hand, some of which can be easily monetized. A spokesperson for Network 180 issued Fox 17 a statement, which reads in part, quote, we have taken additional steps to strengthen the security of the environment and to ensure future incidents are unsuccessful, including hiring cybersecurity staff to proactively monitor our systems and implementing the recommendations of the forensic experts, including additional training of our employees and vendors. We do not believe any of the information that may have been accessed has been misused. Network 180 says it was a phishing attack that caused the breach. Phishing, nothing new to the expert I spoke with, who cautions against current trends. What we see more now than anything else really is phishing accompanied with ransomware or other kinds of malicious software. So it's not just about getting account credentials, but then using it as a launch pad into an organization further. Network 180 tells Fox 17 they've notified the FBI. Michigan State University professor Thomas Holt, who researches internet crimes, says hackers are usually after one thing. By and large, most people are doing this to make money because they can sell the personal information for some value depending on where they're at in the market. Network 180 told me today that the reason patients were not alerted for months is because the security firm that investigated the breach needed that much time to identify what information was compromised. The nonprofit is offering free credit monitoring for all those affected for the next year. Reporting in studio, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.